Well, welcome back. This is uh, Daryl and uh, getting ready for the Greenbrier trip here in the spring. And uh, today I'm going to be tying up, putting in my box to uh, try on that trip called uh, the Flash Monkey. It's uh, a fly designed by uh, Russ Madden. And uh, I'm not sure really what it's supposed to imitate. You know, um, it depends on the colors you're tying it in. You know, the one that that I watched him tie was uh, a rusty brown, so I would think that could be maybe like a crawfish. Um, it could be a minnow. But uh, I'm going to do mine in, uh, in olive. Two shades of olive. They're pretty darn close together. And... Uh, Anyway, let's take a look at it, and we will uh, explain the materials as we go along. This here is the flash monkey. It's what we're going to tie. Um, you notice it's tied on a salmon hook. It uses I'm using a bead chain eyes. Um, you could uh, use lead lead if you want lead eyes dumbbells. Um, it's a good fly not only for small mouth, large mouth. Um, if you tie them a little bit bigger. Uh, maybe musky or or uh, pike, any big predator freshwater fish. It might even, if you changed up the colors, it might even work in some saltwater environments. But uh, let's take a look at it, and we will uh, explain the materials as we go along. <clears throat> so the hook that I'm using is a Mustad Salmon Single he Heavy. I'm tying this on a one knot. You could tie it a little bit smaller if you, if you can find them. And uh, for me, it's as normal. I'm going to debarb, debarb my hook. And you can use your vise, but I kind of prefer um, using my pliers so I don't maybe damage my vise, or if you have an inexpensive vise, you definitely probably might might hurt the jaws. And uh, we'll put that in in there. And you'll notice that there's a bend back hook. And actually one the time I'm going to cover up the thread here. It's not going to be very much thread going on. Maybe only maybe about to here. But about in this area where that bend back is is about where I'm going to put my V chain. So I'm using um, some 210 denier thread in black. And I'm using some large dumbbell eyes. Or not dumbbell eyes, B chain eyes in large silver. And uh, you cut them off in, in a pair. And I, I use the same similar type measurement that I do for my dumbbell eyes about dumbbell or a B chain eye width away and then we'll use some cross wraps make sure everything is that the eyes are level And then helicopter around those. And then I'm just going to wrap maybe a 
three. Quarter of an inch, maybe a little bit longer back there. The next material is the reason why it's called a flash monkey is uh, uses, I'm going to use some uh, silver tinsel. This is holographic or whatever you pronounce that. <clears throat> and uh, you only need 12 fibers or thereabouts, so whatever looks like 12 to you. And this is the tail. And I'll fold it in half to figure out where the halfway point is. And I'm just going to tie it in right here. And yeah, I know I'm not at the back end of the hook because on the, this fly I'm not going to need that. It's just going to be all the materials being tied in right behind the eye right there. Everything that we're going to tie in is up in this area. I suppose if you wanted to, you could maybe, if you wanted a shiny body, you could tie in uh, some body wrap or something like that or some tinsel and wrap up in there but we're tying a fly that might end up getting destroyed by a muskie or a pike or a pickerel depending on where you're at but for me I'm going to try to use it to target uh, target the smallmouth big small mouth. <coughs> All right. Next material I'm going to use is just going to be some craft fur and an olive. And uh I'm going to use um, medium olive to start with and you only need uh, roughly about a square inch on there and what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold these back, brush them back a little bit and then I'm about one inch so I'm just going to come up from where I've cut off to about right here. And that's about one inch and I'm going to try to bring these up so that they're the tips are somewhat close. And then I'm going to take my serrated scissors and I got this big ball of under fur here. I'm just going to pull those out. And take my brush and try to clean some of that out of there or a comb and 
and then I'm going to level off the off the tips. Tips on there. I'll go back and look at the and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to lay this right on top. Kind of like you're going to do uh, a clouser minnow. I'm just going to kind of lay it at an angle. And some tight wraps going forward to compress that. that fur there and then I'm going to come back behind and tie this in behind the eyes there and then I'm going to take my super glue <clears throat> All right. Next, I'm going to use some golden olive. You can see there might be a different. I don't know if you can, but this one's a slightly a little darker. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and comb through that. Same process as you saw. So we'll just, you know. bring these tips up and pull out that under fur I think you got the idea there and we'll just go back to the fly. All right, well we'll go ahead and trim this off and then we'll just like we did like do for a clouser minnow build up ahead rid of any loose fibers there.
<coughs> use this little brush right here, comb, to And we'll go ahead and do a quick whip finish. Snip that off. <sighs> We're going to add some add some bars to that fly using a sharpie, a black color. And however many you want to do, I, I don't know, four or five for me, about maybe an inch apart. just to give it some barring. Then I'm going to go ahead and do a little head cement on there. Looks like I got some fibers. Be careful not to burn anything. And there you have it. The Flash Monkey. Alright, well that's uh, Russ Madden's uh, Flash Monkey. And uh, hopefully you uh, found that interesting you could probably if you wanted to get fancy you could probably do it in deer hair other types of uh, EP fibers things like that if you didn't want to use craft fur but uh, I got a lot of craft fur so I thought I'd use it and there's craft fur is available you know kind of like at your uh, local um, hobby shop you know, Joanne Fabrics, probably, uh, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, you know. There you go. All right, I'm Daryl. Give it a try. Let us know how you like it, if it works for you, and maybe even share some pictures. All right, I'm Daryl. We'll see you on the walk.